what will be published in Science is the analysis of the genome, so the, the blueprint, the parts list of the unicellular red algae Gyderia sulfuraria. And what is interesting about this organism is it lives in a habitat where few organisms can live. You would find it in volcanic areas where it's hot, it's acid, there are a lot of toxic metals, it's a really nasty place to live. And very few organisms could adapt to this environment, Galderia being one of the few. And so the point of having a look at the genome was to find out what is special about Galderia that it can live at a place where most other organisms would quickly die. <laughs> and now having analyzed this genome, the big surprise was that a lot of genes, so parts, proteins, that allow Galderia to live there obviously came from bacteria. And this was really, this was entirely unexpected. Bacteria, they share genes all the time. That's why we have the problem with antibiotic resistances. One bacterium kind of invents a bacterium, an antibiotic resistance, and then other bacteria quickly pick it up. But eukaryotes don't do this. <laughs> Or at least that was the thought. They, they don't share genes, not among each other, and also not with bacteria. And there have been some indications and in some genomes of unicellular organisms that there might be bacterial genes, but nobody was really sure, does that matter? Is this more a footnote? What's the, the evolutionary value? And what, what made our work kind of make it into a science paper was probably that we really show Galderia is what it is because of the genes it took up from bacteria. It gives an entirely new perspective on the, the, the evolution of eukaryotes. And we are eukaryotes.